All right, so here we are. We're ready for part two of our research paper. Any good research paper is going to need a really nice professional looking table of contents. And I'm going to show you not only how to make a table of contents, but more importantly, how to use right here in the home tab, these styles. We're going to use heading one, heading two. We'll see that heading three appears once we've used heading two. This not only creates a good document map, if you will, of our sections, but also is what is used to create a table of contents in three clicks. So let's get started. First of all, what I need to do is use these headings, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to simply say this is uh, heading one, okay? And just so it matches, normally I would use O-N-E, but I'm going to match the style name, okay? So this is heading one. And because I am in this paragraph, I don't necessarily have to highlight the whole paragraph, okay? Because I'm in this paragraph and I haven't selected a specific part of it, when I click heading one, it's going to make the whole thing a heading one. So there's heading one, okay? Now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say this is heading two. So there's my heading two section and I'm going to use heading two, okay? So this might be like, you know, section one, this might be subsection one of section one, et cetera, okay? Now, if you notice, because I've used two, here's three. So let me just continue down with this idea, okay? This is heading three, and I'll run down here real quick. I'll say this is heading four. Come back up here. I'll apply heading three. Bing, bang, boom. There's heading four. I'll apply heading four. Now, if you notice, these are all in a style that matches my design. So it's utilizing the style of my design. So if I come up here and change the theme of my paper, you'll notice that the text and the color of my headings also changes. Okay. That one looks good. I'll go with droplet here. So there we are. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here, okay? And I'm actually going to copy this. So I'm going to highlight the whole thing. One, two, three, three clicks. Do a control C. Come down to my next paragraph. Do a control V, okay? There we are. And I'm going to say this is... another heading one. Let me just do one more. This is another heading two. Yes, that should have been. There we go. So there we are. I'll apply heading two to this. I'm gonna go back to the home page and apply heading two. And this is gonna give us enough information to see what's going on here, okay? So this might be your subsection of subsection, et cetera, in your document, okay? Now I'd change the spacing here, you know, get rid of this. There we go. You know, give it that consistency. Looks like there might be something going on here. It's probably spacing. So if I go up to layout, I can change the spacing before or after and get rid of that, okay? There we are. And now let me turn off the show hide. And I have what's turning into a pretty nice document. Going to be pretty easy. Now, let me show you what I mean by a navigation. If I come in here to view and I go to the navigation pane, if I have a long document, I'm going to be able by the headings to navigate right to the section of the document I want to get to. So that's one use of this. But I know what you're thinking the cool use would be give me a table with contents. So what I'm going to do is come up here. I'm going to go to the insert tab and I'm going to insert a page break because my table of contents needs to go above my information. So here I am. I'm going to go back to references. Notice right here on the left, table of contents. So references is one click. Table of contents is two clicks. Here's contents. If I don't like contents, Maybe I want to go table of contents. Okay, here's a manual, table of contents. 
there we are. You know, chapter one title, chapter two. So if you notice, this isn't pulling in my data. This would be a manual one. But if I use one of the first two, like an automatic table, or here's that automatic table of contents. This is heading one, this is heading two, this is heading three. Ah, what are we missing here? We're missing heading four. Well, that's because by default, a table of contents is designed in Microsoft Word to only show the first three levels as we see. So let me show you how, it, how easy it is. First of all, all I need to do is highlight the table of contents. I come up to table of contents, and what I want to choose is custom table of contents. So if you notice here, I've already added, this was at three, okay? I changed it to four. It's gonna show four levels or four heading levels. I say, okay. I replace the table that's already there and I have heading four. So at this point, your document has a table of contents. It has a title. It has the headings that we're using to create the table of contents. It's got some citations. And finally, if I do a control end, it has a bibliography. So that's what your document needs to have when you turn in this lab. Let me know if you have any questions. Take care.